Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. Today we're here to talk about the TID Radio TDH3 firmware upgrade. Uh, this is firmware upgrade 0240625, so it sounds like it was June 25th. I'm looking for some change notes on this. I haven't been able to find them. Um, I've emailed TID, so if you have any uh, information on the change notes, please post in the description below. One thing that's been kind of bugging me was the tail squelch eliminator. First it went to, it wasn't working, to now it eliminates it on the previous version so much where I can't hear the repeater identify itself. So you heard the repeater right there that worked out perfect, so I'm gonna key it up. I'm gonna to try to transmit and see if I can hear the repeater identify. W6 IWN testing. See, I didn't hear the repeater identify. So at first I was wondering, am I hitting the repeater? Oh, someone else keyed up, that wasn't me. So I heard it's fixed in the new firmware. Let's check it out. I am currently running the firmware version 240427, April 27th, 24. All right, another thing I heard that's changed is menu 33. All right, it's changed from, right now it offers language in English or Chinese. Uh, I believe it's been changed to brightness. All right, let's jump right in how to do this. So today I'm gonna to simply just use a USB-C cable, one of the ones I use to charge my phone. I haven't programmed it like this. Other people have reported that it does work. So uh, let's throw this Kenwood jack out of the mix. But if you don't have a USB-C cable, you can uh, use your jack. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to walkie-talkie-software.com. I'll post links of everything in the description below. Uh, once you're here, you wanna pick the appropriate radio. For this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the TDH3 Unlocked. Uh, and then once you're here, scroll down and you will see programming software right here. Click download. Uh, you also need a login. It didn't show that I'm logged in, so make sure you create your user. It looks like I've downloaded this a few times. So uh, once you open it, what you're gonna wanna do is extract all. Extract it where you want it. All right, now once you got this folder open, go into the folder labeled firmware upgrade. Once you're in here, you wanna open the program TDH3 IAP setup. Go ahead and run that. Your computer is going to ask you if it's okay because it's an unknown publisher. If you choose, click run. Go ahead and set up the program. When it's finished, go ahead and run. Okay, once you have it installed, go ahead and run the TDH3 IAP. It's going to look like this. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your radio and identify your COM port. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now I got the Kenwood jack hooked up. You're going to have to select your COM port. Let me f show you a simple way to do this. So before you plug it in, go to your COM port. Right now I only show COM1. Go ahead and close that. Plug in your radio. Open COM port again. Whoops. Now I see COM5, so that's obviously my radio. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And then you wanna go into open file and navigate to where you downloaded that folder. Go ahead and select bin, make sure it is the correct one. I want the h3240625.bin. You're gonna go ahead and open that. Make sure your radio is off. Click start on this program. Hold the PTT on your radio and turn it on at the same time. You're not gonna see anything on your radio, don't freak out. Pay close attention to the status bar on the TDH3 IAP program. And it's uploading the new firmware right now. Once it's done, you're gonna go ahead and unplug your cable and turn on the radio and it should be updated. Okay, we're all done, it says download successful. Looks like the radio went ahead and rebooted itself here. Uh, let's turn it off and on. Welcome. Menu. And let's check out what the firmware version is. Okay, as you can see now, I'm on firmware version 240625. It's easy as that. All right, the first thing I want to do is test that tail squelch eliminator. W6IWN testing. I heard it. Woohoo! It's fixed. That's great. That's a good start. Let's see what else has changed.
One thing I've been excited about, and I know others have been, is the capability to receive 11 meters on AM. You can receive 11 meters, but only on FM. I thought maybe that would change, but typed in 27185, it's still on FM. So TID Radio, if you're listening, if you could give us AM on 11 meter receive, that would be great. Okay, menu 33 has changed. Menu 33 now is brightness, no longer language. Since you can't find the change notes on this firmware upgrade, it'd be great to have some more information. I'd like that to provide it to you as soon as possible if I do get a return email from TID. In the meanwhile, if anyone else does have any more information on anything that's changed in this or your experience, please post below in the comments. I hope this helps you and you enjoy your new firmware upgrade. Thanks for watching in 7.3.